Federal government cannot destroy bandit hideout in the forest, Lai Mohammed. You know, it's only in Imo state that they can destroy the hideouts of uh, the indigenous people of Biafra, or better still, uh, Eastern Security Network. But in the north, it cannot be done. Okay? Uh, it means that um, in the north, there is some strongholds or something that, you know, must be done for. It must, must not be touched. But in the east or in the southeast, oh yes, you can please destroy the forest as much as you want. You have a free pass. It's a free day. I mean, nobody has it. Nobody owns it. Why not if not? Can you see that our leaders in the, in the south, whether south, 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 east, southwest, they are all a bunch of people who do not know what they really stands for. Is it that they know or they don't know? If they don't know, then I don't understand what they are doing as leaders. But if they know, you can stem it to, you can, I mean, you can infer it to so many reasons why they are quiet in the face of oppression. I mean, obvious oppression. Guys, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Federal government cannot destroy bandit hideouts in the forest, Lai Mohammed. Minister of Information Lai Mohammed has given the reasons the federal government will not destroy forests where bandits used as hideouts to carry out kidnapping in the country. Can you imagine? They know, but they know, do you know what people are going through? A Nigerian American came to this country, spent over a month to reunite with family, to felicitate and to spend the, the, the season with his family, friends, reunite, reconnect. On his way back, going to the airport with his family, brothers, in their own saloon car, we are apprehended by bandits. As if that is not enough, they walked them into the bush, into the forest. As a man of 60-something years old, he could not keep up with their pace. What did they do to him? They shot him dead. Still, they still went on to collect 20 million naira ransom from the family. And they were full any boys, like the brother confirmed. When they, when, they, when they asked him about the man, he said, yes, that that one, they killed him. And they combed the forest, they were able to find his decomposing body. Do you know, sometimes, eh, I, don't, I don't want to say bad things should happen to people, but at times some people really need to feel what other people are feeling so that they can understand it and not just make conclusion and just go on and just say words without reasoning or meaning. Do you understand? Because some of these people, if a family member, a child, a spouse gets into this situation of what is currently happening, maybe, just maybe, they will understand what people are going through. Because they are taking it with so much levity. They are, I mean, they are doing as if nothing is happening. Lai Mohammed is saying that these things cannot be done. Why? Because uh, A, B, C, D, Z. Let's carry on and get all the information. Minister of Information Lai Mohammed has given the reasons the federal government will not destroy the forests where bandits use as hideouts to carry out kidnapping in the country. Mohammed speaking with Channels TV on how to eliminate bandits and the and the said ecosystem. He said the ecosystem will be affected if the government destroyed the forest. He said that the better solution to eliminate bandit from the forest was to have consultation uh, with the sub national government and the federal government and security agencies. Lai Mohammed, I, I want to ask you a question. I want to pose a question to you. This has been ongoing now for how long? And what, are, what has the result been? You know what, my guys, I just want to put it out there. This, uh, what is currently happening in Nigeria, is being aided from order from above. You know when we say order from above, yes? Because oh. evil and, I mean, almost some of those things that are going on cannot continue to happen and succeed if there are no people okay who have interest in this matter carrying on in this way or manner there are people in government who have opened central bank do you know that now previously to this time they don't have a budget for it now as we speak there is a budget in the in the federal government uh, reserve for uh, uh, bandits Oh, you don't know, investigate and find out and be sure, 300% sure. So those who are aiding it, after a while, they squeeze out the knot a little bit tight, tight, a little bit tighter. And they've seen that, oh, this other uh, kidnapping is not working. Then let's go to schools. And cleverly now, they've seen that the government is trying not to abolish. They've put out an Islamic clergy who is doing the negotiation. 
you know so i mean there's a lot of mishappening in our government because of those who are in power or who are in authority and that's why we are crying out to every well-meaning nigerians please pray for this country i tell you your your simple word of prayer will do a lot to change the atmosphere first of all we need a change in leadership how will it happen if you and i do not pray about it how will it happen because uh, uh, some quarters, including uh, our very own uh, Femi, uh, F F Falana, they are putting together to ensure, reporting Buhari to the international community to see if some kind of impeachment was, will come and Buhari will be able to be, will be removed, uh, you know, legally. But guess what? The North are sabotaging it, have gone ahead to say that uh, they've written to the international community that trying to impeach Buhari will bring an upset to democracy in Nigeria and the problem that is happening in Nigeria is not Buhari's problem and uh, people should look inward. Inward how? When Buhari is the leader of the country and cannot give executive order as to regards to the activities of the headsmen. So, I mean, when you look at the situation of things of ground, you know that our basic number one problem in this country is leadership. 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 Again and again, leadership. If you have a leader, when Trump came into America and said A, B, C, D, Z, whether you like it or not, it might not be your cup of tea. But for the four years he was in office, everyone fell in line. Do you understand? So, I mean, it is what it is. Where the head moves, the body intends to follow. Don't forget that the whole function of the body, like biology will tell us, have to depend largely on the signal of the brain. So if the brain signals to you that your mouth is your ear, you will see your hand taking the food to your ear while your mouth is in front of your face. So when you look at what is happening, you can truly understand that there is an upset and balance in our government with regards to leadership. You can tell, you can tell, you can look at the, the situation of things and say, ah, so this is what it is. You can tell. You can actually put a knife through and be able to cut it because currently what is happening in Nigeria is a, is a, is a serious indication that we lack leadership. And that's why those in authority who have the opportunity to speak and are quiet, I'm really surprised. Those who can, who can make sure that, you know, some of these things are, are dealt with, are attended to swiftly, they do nothing. They sit there and speak English. So guys, please leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.